if you have a moment, hop over to Iona Loves Sean XX. She's one of those people who thinks the internet exists so that her 10 year old ass can say whatever she wants with no repercussions. Uh, she did make her account private because she was afraid of everyone coming to visit her. So, uh, my suggestion is you could send her a friend's request, then bomb her page once she accepts. Uh, you could simply report her account. But um, I think it's a good lesson to learn that you can't uh, just say whatever you want and not have repercussions. So, this guy who's so, so tizzy here, who's so bothered by someone who he knows is 10 years old. This is a 10 year old child, mm -hmm. okay, who's doing this to him. Instead of blocking her, he's like, I want you to swarm her page and attack her on the internet. <laughs> a 10 year old child. Her account was called Iona Loves Sean, and it's all about how she's obsessed with her boyfriend, Sean, even though they're 12 years old. Well, today, I found Sean. No wonder you're getting called a pedo, dude. You're trying to track down 12 year olds online. How are Jesus. you so good at finding 12 year old boys, Tizzy? That's what I want to know. Okay, let's watch. This is a video. Now, this is Tizzy, the guy, one of the guys who was making it his job to basically destroy uh, Sarah's life here. Uh, this is some past behavior of Tizzy that will kind of let you. <laughs> get a, get some insight into his character, okay? Right. We're just going to let you guys see see this for yourselves, right? What's he got on Good his morning. shirt there? Oh, my God. It's a gun. It is. Oh my God. Assault rifle there, right? It's a weapon of war on his, on his shirt. Right there, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, if you have a moment, hop over to Iona Loves Sean XX. She likes to come up with my videos and comment that I'm a pedophile which I take a slight issue with, considering I am a father and an uncle, and that shit disgusts me. Uh, she's one of those people who thinks the internet exists so that her 10-year-old ass can say whatever she wants with no repercussions. Uh, she did make her account private because she was afraid of everyone coming to visit her. So uh, my suggestion is you could send her a friend's request, then bomb her page once she accepts. Uh, you could simply report her account. But... Um, I think it's a good lesson to learn that you can't uh, just say whatever you want and not have repercussions. Have a great day. Hi, everybody. So the other day I posted a video about a young girl who decided to jump on my videos and leave comments about how I'm a pedophile. And when I approached her about it, she was like, I don't give a fuck. I can do what I want. I can say what I want. <laughs> And I was like, cool. And I sent you all to pay her a visit. And many of you did. And thank you for that. Well, her account was called Iona Loves Sean. And it's all about how she's obsessed with. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. I can't believe you to pause it. Uh, so, okay. So that was the first video. Now we're in the second video. So, okay. So Tizzy here is being accused of being called. Some, some 10 year old is apparently leaving comments that he's a pedophile, right? Right. So I looked this up because I'm like, wait a minute. How does this work? Can't you just block someone like you can on YouTube? Can't you just block someone on Twitter so they can't leave comments on your videos? Right. Guess what? You can. Really? You can just block them so they can't leave comments on your videos. On your okay? TikTok videos? Right. So this guy who's so, so tizzy here, who's so bothered by someone who he knows is 10 years old. This is a 10-year-old child, mm -hmm. okay, who's doing this to him. Instead of blocking her, he's like... I want you to swarm her page and attack her on the internet. A so, ten-year-old child. So ridiculous. Such a, oh my god! Look, if I ever have an idea this retarded, <laughs> I want you to step in and save me from myself. Jeez, who is who is this guy's friend? Like, who doesn't say, "Listen, dude, you're fifty and you're beefing with a ten-year-old online." Yes. This is insane. <laughs> this just is makes you look like a like, moron. What the fuck? Supposedly How he's, is this he's real? divorced, so Oh he is? Well, I watched this video and then I saw a bunch of other videos. So mm -hmm. some guy did a video completely just you know, taking this guy apart. Okay. I guess this this pit, pedo charge has been a persistent thing in his backstory. So Yes. Yes. Yeah. This happened a while ago. Yeah. So um but this is just I like I don't I don't understand the thought process here. Okay. A ten you're you're like, let me harass a ten year old off the internet instead of just <coughs> blocking her. And then he's even like, listen, she's private her account. So send her friend request to try to get around it. Yeah, no, it's weird. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's completely okay. weird. So well, so you might think if you if you don't know the story, you might think, okay, well that's pretty weird, Sitchin Adam. 
that he's like so obsessed with a 10 year old but that's like the end of it right like it can't possibly get even weirder right oh of course not <laughs> obviously tizzy is an adult <laughs> like like tizzy, how tizzy do you get the... worse how do you possibly make i'm gonna send my audience of millions of people to go harass a 10 year old okay mm. off the internet instead of just blocking her how do you possibly get lower than that mm-hmm well, listen, Tizzy. You can't get lower than that. That's like the the worst, right? Look, that's Tizzy a little will show that's you. a little girl's nightmare. Tizzy will show you how it gets worse than that. Oh, okay. really? Wow. This is this is beyond my wildest imagination. I never in my entire life could have dreamt up to do this to a ten year old mm. person, or to really anyone, actually. But... Very devious. Yes. This this shows you how completely in like immoral and insane this person right. is. this shows and you how, the inner workings of a 57 year old loser on tiktok <laughs> well of a sociopath and this is this is the huxley quote this is the huxley quote it shows you how so many people and this we've heard this a lot from people who kind of are like super woke and in cancel culture and then they get out of it how they're just getting off on the idea of destroying people and then if they can convince themselves that the person deserves it it's like this like rush like this ultimate high there there is a scientific paper that came out and i forgot to download it mm -hmm. but it is basically the huxley quote in a scientific paper it's hilarious right. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically it. all of these social justice warriors are just like vulnerable narcissists just living like rampaging just for their narcissistic needs yes yes the uh quote is the surest way oh, you to work at the, the crusade oh, nice. in favor of some good cause is to promise people they'll have the chance of maltreating someone, to be able to destroy them with good conscience, to be able to behave badly and call your bad behavior righteous indignation. This is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. Moral treats. That's yeah. uh, Tizzy's entire personality. Yeah, Tizzy's getting off on this. It's He's like, like okay. let's all just assault this Tizzy. <laughs> Who, right. does, who thinks that's a good idea? But it gets worse. A video about a young girl who decided to jump on my videos and leave comments about how I'm a pedophile. And when I approached her about it, she was like, I don't give a fuck. I can do what I want. I can say what I want. And I was like, cool. And I sent you all to pay her a visit. And many of you did. And thank you for that. Well, her. Just, I just, I. Where's this 10 year old's dad or this 10 year old's mom? I'm like, I know. Tizzy. What the fuck are you doing? Does it? It's so funny because he sounds like. I mean, this is a guy who's like larping, like he's like the mafia boss. I sent you all to her house to pay her a <clears throat> visit, and you did. You taught her a lesson. Thanks. Like, yeah. What the, this is like so disgusting. What do they do? Say I don't like your videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your ten-year-old video. Jeez. Oh my god. Her account was called Iona Loves Sean, and it's all about how she's obsessed with her boyfriend, Sean, even though they're 12 years old. Well, today, I found Sean. Now, here's the thing. I don't want anyone to go give Sean hate. Actually, Sean seems like a really sweet guy. Okay, so I, I want to play this. This how is creepy fucking, is this, this like, is psychopath. Like, imagine, I, Sitch, he's out there Googling. I got to find this girl's boyfriend on the internet. What a fucking psychopath. Boyfriend. No wonder you're getting called a pedo, dude. You're trying to track down fucking 12-year-olds online. How are Jesus. you so good at finding 12-year-old boys, Tizzy? That's what I want to know. I just so I don't understand when you're trying to squash the pedo narrative, yet you're spending all day in an inc incognito browser <laughs> browsing fucking Facebook pages. 12-year-old boys? What a weirdo. What how many a fucking boys, weirdo. How many 12 year old boys named Sean did you have to like scroll through their pages to find their friend? Yes. Oh my God. Sitch, what is happening here? Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine, Sitch? Look, I'm going to spend my Saturday looking at 12 year old face, 12 year old boys' Facebook pages. I really have to get to this person. <laughs> Oh my God! It's so creepy and weird. It I is. I have to listen. I have to find this twelve-year-old boy's Facebook page to prove that I'm not a pedophile. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. We've we've literally found the stupidest person on the internet, Sitch. It took it took us three years, but we found him. He's gonna make it worse, though. He's gonna make it even worse. Yeah. Okay. 
But I, I rule the back because I want, like, the way he says I found Sean is so fucking creepy. Okay. We have to, like, focus on. I know. I know. He does, like, a cutaway. Yes. He's like, oh, Sean. look yes. what I found today. Oh, yeah, yeah. He does an edit. Yeah. He does a separate edit. Yeah. On, even though they're 12 years old. Well, today I found Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like he's doing pedo pornography here. What the, it's so creepy. What the fuck? Uh, what is this? Like, how are you so stupid? This beef starts because someone accuses me of you being a pedophile. You go and you, like, spend your day trying to find some 12-year-old. And then you say it in the creepiest fucking way imaginable. I know. It's that weird, creepy, come-hither sex voice. Yes. Yes. 12 Listen. years old. Well, today, I found Sean. <laughs> Oh my God, this is the weirdest video on the internet, Sitch. This is the weirdest video on the internet. If we use those like automatic voice things for Super Chats, that would be like the voice for like a month. Why are you, Why is he doing this? Well, today I found Sean. Oh, so it's crazy. so, it's so, it's so terrifying. And well, can you imagine sit... being Sean's dad? I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, motherfucker? I'm calling the FBI. Holy I shit. I know. No shit. What the fuck? No and shit. He's, and, he's, and you're right. He doesn't just, he says it weird. Like, okay, he made the decision. He's like, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to hold my camera, my phone at a different angle from like an upper angle pointing downward. And I'm going to say it. In this like fucking weird ass like creepy way, like he made the decision to do this. It wasn't an accident. I know. Yeah, he probably has six different cuts. He's like, oh, that's the perfect one right there. That's the real creepy one. <laughs> that's the perfect one. Yes, this will terrify those twelve year olds. <laughs> my God, Ooh. put the phone oh down. <laughs> put the phone down. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked that he wasn't wearing a shirt with pedo bear on it or something. You know, look the co the Chinese Communist Party has a whole division <laughs> devoted to this guy. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> the blow is the blow's video is up. Yeah. Now here's the thing: I don't want anyone to go give Sean hate. Actually, Sean seems like a really sweet guy. Um, if anything, I think Sean deserves better. Well, first of all, why? So he so he finds this guy, mm -hmm. this twelve year old. And he looks on his page long enough to determine that he thinks he as a is a sweet person. Well, he's also sizing him up attractive wise. Yes. The yeah. the description of him is scary. <laughs> like this is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. How is he? How did he not get banned off TikTok for doing this? Yeah, I have no idea. Like, I'm well, the answer you. is because China doesn't care. <laughs> well, they love it. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh, great. Look, he's a pedophile. Let's uh, <laughs> blow up his account. This will fuck with the Americans. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so I figure there's got to be some followers here that are around the age of 12. Uh, lovely young ladies who are also nice. So why don't you hop over and pay Sean a visit? That is, if you like uh, good-looking young men with chestnut brown hair who also have Australian <laughs> accents. And maybe explain that he deserves better than someone who's nasty on the inside. That's so wrong. That what the so fuck? so wrong. What is wrong with his brain? Yeah. Like, I can't even put myself in the headspace where I would think, you know, someone called me a pedo. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go and find their 12-year-old boyfriend. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell my followers, I'm going to say, hey, are there any 12-year-olds out there? Can you try to steal your boyfriend away from her? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> this is insane. It's totally insane. Oh my god. It's insane and stupid. And it makes him look like a creepy pedo. It does. I know. That's the thing. Look, Tizzy, when you're trying to fight a narrative, you shouldn't play into that narrative with, right. <laughs> with you know. Right. Yeah. With all, all your vigor. You really shouldn't. Yeah. Like the description don't... of the guy is just, I mean <laughs> He's got chestnut brown hair i know what the hell he's very sweet and he has an australian accent ladies why don't you send him some dms i'm not telling you what to send in those dms but you know wink wink i know it's just so creepy. this is so creepy this is so fucking creepy it is he's way like creepy like hey can you uh hey 12 year olds can you go solicit something from <laughs> this boy this is so fucking weird what the fuck yeah wow
This guy is a psychopath. We got in some trouble for this, I guess. People will actually point out, like the obvious things that we're pointing out. Hey, this makes you look 10 times worse. Than... Yeah, he did. Yeah, you said yeah. we. You mean him. Yeah. Yeah, he got in trouble for this. Well, he sort of got in trouble for this, but not in like real trouble. Mm. But obviously, like, oh my God, this is insane. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so that's. Uh... He is talking. Uh, hold on, there's some stuff on the screen there. What did you say? He's talking he... about a 10 year old child. Right, right yeah this is uh, why no. i always try to discern i'm like am i arguing with a 10 year old here <laughs> when i'm arguing on twitter sometimes i think this seems like a 10 year old i'm gonna right. i'm gonna mosey along right right so here's some comments that are like bro mm -hmm. stop and then uh, someone says get a reality check because sean loves iona and i personally know them and they're an amazing couple <laughs> okay no, so someone like responds and he says I'm going to find Sean and where he lives, and I'm going to find cute girls in your area for him. What the? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Look, Tizzy, you're a little old to be typing that on the Internet. <laughs> so pro tip. Here's your pro tip. When someone calls you a pedo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, this isn't uh, a pro tip. This is common sense, Sitch. This the is approach, just common sense. The approach should not be to say, listen, I'm totally not a pedo. Let me act as a pimp. For 12 year old. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Not a good look. God. Not a good look. Oh my God. Uh, then someone says she's also 10. That's not okay for Tim for TikTok. And still, he's right. You can get a beating. And then he says, means the government won't arrest you for saying what they don't like. You can still catch a beating. What? There you go, what? 10 year olds. You can still catch a beating. There you go. Oh my god, is he really advocating violence? I I don't know. Um, okay, that's not important. And then he goes kind of back and forth with all this stuff. Okay, so then I don't even know if it's worth <coughs> it. Should we watch his apology? I'm not sure it's worth watching, but his apology? His yeah, apology. no, he grovels a okay. bit. It's good. Right. Say so, yeah, I'm not here to make excuses. Um this video is being made because I don't want people to attack others. I don't want. Did you like that? He's got like this like filter on it to make it more dramatic. Yeah. No. Oh. It's like, this is my sad video. I got to turn the saturation way down. Yeah. No, he gets it. He understands <laughs> optics. Finally, yes. finally he gets optics. <laughs> Supposedly he directed something. So you think he would know that, you know, acting as a pimp for 12 year olds doesn't really help uh, fight the pedo charge, but yeah people to attack nurse naya or dinesh or our exorcist or and karen or anyone for having a problem with something that i've done people especially those who are mutuals hold, hold on hold on he says i don't want anyone to attack my friends now if you're attacking a 10 year old enemy of mine that's perfectly okay if you're trying to sabotage a 10 year old's love life that's fine right yeah what the hell oh my he's this oh does God. this is the worst apology video ever <laughs> And and you know, fight. and you know, that someone tried to catfish that that twelve year old boy, right? Oh, of course, yeah. So. Some some fucking real fifty seven year old pedo tried to fucking yeah, catfish. Yeah, of course. Him. Yeah. Why would you do that? Same. What a maniac! I know. Might have been associated with me. Should be able to say, hey, I'm not okay with what this person said. So all the other big tech talkers came in and said, Tizzy, listen. You look more like a pedo now than you ever did before. They tried to talk some sense into him. Even like. even the council brigade was like, Jesus, Tizzy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I went a little too far on this one. Exactly. Oh, my God. Did, and that be okay, because otherwise people will assume that they are okay with it. And I know there will be people who are like, well, what was the context of that? What were you saying? So I'm going to explain that, again, not as an excuse. So this is back when I was still just lip syncing on the app. I wasn't doing any kind of advocacy. I had maybe 100K followers at that time. And I had... Look, he has 100K followers and he's just lip syncing. Do you like that he to... says that like 100K is like nothing? I, I only had like a mere 100K followers. No, I, I know. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking TikTok is just a scam. Like, yeah. who, how do you get 100K followers just being some old tubby dude lip syncing? Who is watching that shit? The kids like, listen... 
the kids like watching old fat white guys uh, lip sync to K-pop. Okay, I don't know. If this you know makes this. me think CCP <laughs> is like pumping the numbers or something. <laughs> CCP is doing some sort of mind experiment Listen, on Tizzy. We're just we're just out of touch. We just don't get it. No, they're like, okay. look, this we've got the perfect crazy psychopath here. Let's to pump his numbers. Give him a hundred k followers. But only six people are actually watching him. Just do it. Uh -huh. Look, it'll drive him insane. <laughs> Make him like... for $2. It says, TLC's new show, 12-year-old matchmaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it comes It comes on right after Cougar Island. <laughs> oh, my God. We still haven't seen Cougar Island. We got to watch that. That sounds like we a gotta good show. We got to watch it, yeah. There you go. Don't you want to bunk with a guy who's screwing your mom? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Like That's so weird. Ever, yeah. <coughs> Make oh it stop. God. A girl who came into my comments and was making posts calling me a pedophile. I think people have realized at this point that that's triggering for reasons I won't go into. Uh, uh well, we you don't need to go into them. We understand why it's triggering. <laughs> yes, yes. Thou dost protest too much, <laughs> methinks. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Why okay. don't look? Come on. It's this guy spends all day on TikTok calling everybody racist. True. That is true. <laughs> if you're gonna swim in those waters, you're gonna get the pedo charge thrown at you. That is true. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I first reached out to her and was like, Wow, that's really not cool. You can really hurt someone by doing that. And her response was, Fuck you, I don't care. So I made the first video. Now I want it to be clear. I, I didn't get any information on this person. I never sent anybody to like their Instagram or somewhere else or where she goes to school. All of this was contained on TikTok. Well, I, wait, 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 wait a second. Okay. You can't say I directly told my audience to go harass this person, but I only said to harass them on TikTok. I didn't say to harass them on any other platform. Like, yeah, what kind what of fucking excuse is that? What a dipshit. Come on. What, a what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we doing here? You know they're I in listen... the docks for in like five minutes. Of course, if they can. Right. Of course they are. And what's wrong with her? Was this guy's fans? They're like, oh yeah, let's attack a 10-year-old child. Instead of just blocking her. Just like I'd be like, if I was this guy's fan, I'd be like, what just block her? What she's 10. What the what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know what the fan base says. But I made that. And at the time I really didn't understand what making a post like that, how your followers could respond to that. Like, oh, please, what a lot. That's a bull. His second video was literally him thanking them for whatever they did. Of course, yeah. I didn't know. When I told my followers to go harass this 10-year-old child, I didn't think they'd actually go and do it. <gasps> right. Shock Pikachu face. That's why I made a follow-up video thanking them for harassing her. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what it and seems asking, like you did and asking for trying to play 12 year old matchmaker 12 year old pimp and try to home wreck her relationship yeah God. damn this person is a psychopath and this this apology in finger quotes is the biggest bullshit ever yeah it never dawned on me that she could get a ton of hate messages I thought <laughs> that's what you asked for what Look, you ordered you them Yes, you literally told them a way to try to circumvent her, making her account private. What do you think they're going to be like? Is this Tizzy thought like they were going to send her a message, be like, "Excuse me, ten-year-old child, did you know that it's actually really inappropriate for you to call people a pedophile on the internet? Thank you for your time yeah. and consideration." He said, "Bomb their page." What What does that mean? Bomb them with courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, I, I think uh, when I think bomb throw, I think something completely different. <laughs> mm. That know. must be you, though. He meant bomb. Yeah. Listen, he meant bomb. Love bomb them. Love. Oh, okay. Love sure. bomb them. Yeah, yeah right. I don't think he's he like, did. if we listen, he's like, this girl, she's 10. Maybe she has a, a rough family life. Okay. I want you all to just show her love and support. Right. Maybe right. her uncle's diddling her on the side. Yeah. Who knows? It's like, you know, with a, if you raise baby Hitler right, maybe he wouldn't have been so. <laughs> Hurtful and harmful in his later life. Oh my God. Thought people would just go like, hey, that's not cool. It's really wrong that you would do that. And honestly, that is what people did. She did. Wait, you, you, okay. This is such a lie. He's like, I thought people would just say, oh, that's wrong. Well, well you literally told people to go break up her fucking relationship. 
you directed your audience to say, hey, if any of you 12 year olds live in this area and are girls, get slide in this guy's DM and try to break up their relationship. Okay. That's so much more extreme than like people say, like sending hateful messages to someone. So you can't act like surprised by this. Yeah, this is just weird. Didn't get a bunch of hate messages out of it. But she responded again, like, I don't give a fuck, all of you, blah, blah, blah. And that's <laughs> when I made the video about her. Look, she's fucking stronger than him on the internet. Yes. I don't give yes. a fuck, fuck all of you. Just catch me outside. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bested by a 10 year old. Embarrassing. <laughs> Boyfriend who is also on TikTok saying maybe there's a nice girl who would like to be with him. Again, not really understanding what could have come from that. And I'm very fortunate that it didn't result in a bunch of people just harassing them. Why is he making the apology video if that's not what resulted? It seems obvious that's what resulted. He's like, I told people to do something and I just couldn't conceive that they might have actually done it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Just when I told you to go do that thing, I never dreamed in a million years that you'd actually do it. That's so crazy. That's... Who could have possibly foreseen this occurring? Are you? Is anyone buying this? Are you buying uh, this? Anyone? Of course not. This is insane. This is the dumbest. This is the worst apology ever. What a dumbass. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that it could have, and it doesn't change the fact that it's wrong, and I was wrong. And oh, thank it's you. Something, while I would never do it today, I did it then. Now, lately, there's been a lot of focus on things that I've done or said in the past, and it causes a lot of people to have to make content on it or address it. And that causes people to not be able to focus on the good things they should be focusing on. I mean, Dinesh and our exorcists were swatted, and almost no one's talking about it. It's that's not right. My being here. So I don't know who the exorcist guy is. But right. honestly, listen, I'm not I'm anti swatting. Of course. Will, don't I'm swat, don't dox. Yeah, I'm 100% anti-swatting. But, but I will give zero sympathy for sociopaths like Dinesh who make it their livelihood to try to destroy other people's lives. Yeah, that's the thing. Look, if you're going to swim in these waters, if you're going to be out there doxing and, and harassing right. people, you're going to get fucking swatted, dude. Yeah, you're going to get doxed and People have this too. internal yeah. moral compass. They're like, this guy's a piece of shit. Right. Yeah. In the in the immortal words of was it Young Bloods? Don't mm -hmm. start no shit. Won't yeah. be no shit. Exactly. Okay. Don't fuck around. You won't find right. out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right now seems to be a distraction. And I don't want to be a distraction. So I am going to take some time off from this app oh. uh, to reflect oh. and look at what I can do to be better. Oh. They're good creators doing good things, even ones who have had a problem with me. And I want them to be able to focus on that. So please support them. And let's try and get back to doing real good that enacts real. So there you go. That was uh, that was Tizzy's apology, and then he left Twitter or TikTok, TikTok for some period yeah. of time. So TikTok is like an alternate universe for us. I mean, I, I know. Don't... Look, Jesus. Short form content. I mean, maybe someday. <laughs> I, don't I know. know. <laughs> the rest of this isn't really worth going over. Uh, basically, so he goes off TikTok for some period of time, I think a few months, and he comes back, of course, and no one cares. And now he has a million TikTok followers, and he's still doing the exact fucking horrible shit that he was doing before. Yeah, doxing and harassing people. That's doxing the only reason people. we know him is because of the doxing and harassing of this bike lady. Right. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.